Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Recently, a lot of my videos have been focusing on new information that might be related to the zombies storyline or just the zombies mode in general. Any news that comes out about the mode or even just stuff related to the brand really of Call of Duty Zombies is stuff that I've obviously been covering for months and actually for years now. I've been doing this since 2009 is when I started YouTube. So I've been doing this for a really long time, but recently I've had a really strong focus on all things Call of Duty Zombies. Now, currently, I have an idea for a new series, and I basically wanted to run it past you guys and sit down and talk to you a little bit, which is something that I haven't actually done in quite a while. Obviously, I make videos and I talk to you guys plenty, but I talk to you about new information and about theories and about Easter eggs, and it's all very one-sided in that sense. And I have an idea that I think would be really fun to do. I personally would really enjoy it, and I think that you guys would as well, but I wanted to run it past you all first, just to sort of gauge your reaction to it and see what you all think. So, without further ado, this is what is in my head right now. Actually, thinking about it, there are two things. So, I come from a time on YouTube, and I say that with a little bit of hesitation because it sounds rather strange, but I started my channel during a period on YouTube when there was a specific type of commentary that was the standard go-to that everybody would post. It was a very specific style, and over the years, YouTube has changed and the platform has evolved into what we have today. As that process has happened, that old style of commentary has kind of fallen out of favor. It certainly has on my channel, and it's something that I would quite like to begin to bring back a little bit and just sort of sprinkle in here and there, because I think it's actually a really important and vital part of growing a healthy, fun community, a melon militia, whatever you want to call it. I think that it would definitely be beneficial to not only myself, knowing that I'm able to talk to you guys and explain what's going on and things like that and be open with you, but also for you guys to get to know me a little better and get to know the way I'm running my channel. So that's something that's going to be happening in the foreseeable future. You might notice it, you might not. Honestly, it's not going to be a massive change by any means. Okay, so that's thing one, relatively painless. The second thing is a pitch, essentially, for an idea that I've sort of been thinking about and incubating in my head for a while now. It's actually something that I've thought about doing for years, but I've never really acted on it. Okay, so here's the idea. I sit down with another member of the zombies community. I don't really mind who, but it would change each week, so I'd have somebody on, let's say I had Dalek on for one of them, and then the next week I might have Liam on, and then the next week I might have Pat on, and then the next week I might have somebody else. It wouldn't matter about whether you've got 5k subs or 50k, the idea would be that I would pick people that I thought would be interesting to talk to. I would keep cycling through people, and each week we would talk about different things related to either zombies or maybe more related to the person themselves. The angle that I would much prefer to take is a kind of interview style where I essentially ask them a bit more about themselves because I know a lot of the people in the community quite well, certainly in the UK. If I'm going to events, I might see people there. And so we kind of have an interface with one another, but you guys don't necessarily get to know the people so well because we're always working so hard to make videos that are specifically interested to the main thing that you guys are after, and that's zombies. So I think that this would just be a really cool series to do. I know there are some people who are less into the idea of being very personal with their videos and things like that, and that would be fine. For those people, we could just talk about zombies. It wouldn't have to be a set thing every week with the same topics and things like that. It would be very fluid. I wouldn't want to be pinned down to any one topic at any given time, and so we could talk about zombies, by all means, if that was fitting, or we could talk about other things. I am obviously a physics major, I have a lot of opinions about various different topics and things, and it would be really interesting to debate with a couple of other people in the community and talk about things that aren't necessarily zombies related. I think that it would be really worthwhile having that as a part of my content, 
Not the only thing that I'm doing, by any means, I'm obviously still going to be making zombies videos, this is not a replacement for that, it's simply an extra part of it, a bonus, a little insight, a window into the creative process of making videos from my perspective, the effort that goes into it and what it all entails, and maybe hearing about someone new. Maybe it's a content creator you haven't heard of before. Maybe it's somebody that you've watched videos from from a long time, but you didn't really know the person so well. I just think that that would be really interesting to do. There have been podcasts in the zombies community before, and there still are. Currently, Pat runs a really good one, and I've been on that, I think, twice now. That's been really enjoyable the two times that I have been on it, but I feel like it would be really fun to add my own perspective into the mix, and I honestly think that I could get some really interesting conversations out of people given the opportunity. So that's something that I've wanted to share with you guys for a while as an idea. Let me know what you think of it, and also, this is something that I haven't actually said in a while on YouTube, I say it every now and then on Twitter just to remind people, but if you have any ideas at all for things that you'd like to see on my channel, then let me know. Because right now, I am in a position where I don't have a massive amount of time to make videos, but I want to ensure that the little time I do have is spent being productive and making videos that you guys want to see. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing. So, if you have any ideas, Twitter is a great place for it. YouTube comments are also pretty good. I do tend to read them as much as I can, but Twitter is much easier to keep track of. I can't respond to absolutely everything all the time because I don't have the time for it, unfortunately. But I do definitely read as much as I possibly can from you guys, and I love hearing feedback. I absolutely love it. So. Thanks for watching, as always, that's another thing that I try and reiterate at the end of all of my videos and as much as I can really in general. You guys watching my videos is brilliant and I thank you for it massively. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, I hope you've enjoyed this video, let me know what you think of the ideas, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.